<laughs> this guy's toast. Next we have Paladin. Okay, Paladin. I don't think Paladin got anything too noticeable. They're the other mech deck. All right. We can go like WoW Paladin color, which is hot pink. But then Hearthstone uh, Paladin's yellow. Don't ask me, ask Blizzard. There we go. A nice uh, diarrhea yellow. Auto Defense Matrix Secret. When one of your minions is attacked, give it Divine Shield. If there was more secret synergy, it might be playable, like Mysterious Challenger, but without it, I would say it's crap. It's too similar to Get Down, but not better enough to warrant a place. One mana, one three, Glowtron, Mech and Magnetic. Like I said, 1 mana 1 3 minions are good. It's good stat, but you need something that pushes them over the edge. And being magnetic and mech makes me like it a lot. Aggressive mech paladin. Hmm. 1 mana buff a minion by 1 attack and 3 health. Yeah, I can see it. Mechanoweg, 5 mana 05. Mech, summon an 8 8 Robosaur. Man, these eggs are getting bigger and bigger. It's real expensive and super weak to silence. You can attach a lot of things to it, like a Glowtron or a Noyotron. But my lord, do you just instantly lose the game if they have Polymorph or Silence. Great with Tarm too, but like I said, so weak against Silence. You would have to Tarm it and pop it right away. The thing I don't like about Mechanical Egg is the high health. You don't want it hard to pop, if that makes sense. Because you want that 8 8 out. Like, if you Spike Ridge D this, you have a giant defensive egg, right? Which is great. But you get. You're putting a, all your eggs in a basket. <laughs> get it? Eggs in a basket. Talking about eggs. Mm, I think it's too committal. One thing I want to point out is that Blizzard said, one of the Blizzard game designers said, Mechathun Paladin was viable for him. Or like, he made a deck for Mechathun Paladin. And I don't know what specifically about Paladin that made it possible. Um, Annoyer Tron module, 4 mana 2 4, Divine Shield Taunt, Max Energy. I think it's pretty good. Crystology, 2 mana, draw 2 1 attack minions from the deck. Wow, Toast. What's all the 1 attack minion that this card will work with? I'm glad you asked, random guy in Toast chat that didn't really ask. I'm just making you up. Let me just head to Disguise Toast com here and look up that Christology article Paladin Christology featuring all one attack minions in standard wow this is helpful look at all these one attack minions that I can instantly see and build a deck around Christology thank you disguisetools.com once again you're the best all right, um, Lanessa, 
if you're running buff paladin bovar but no one runs bovar righteous protector is okay stonehold defender which is a tarim slash tyrian tar creeper for defensive cards okay the rest is kind of meh so stonehill and tar creeper maybe lanessa are uh, great targets for christology and a new paladin one drop so um might be able to find a place for christology meat wagon Ooh, okay i'll put this in the middle not in every paladin deck but you would use it to tutor out stonehill defenders and tar creeper Actually, I'll put it here. I think most Paladin decks will run um, Stonehill Defender. Shrink Ray, 5 mana. Set the attack and health of all minions to 1. This card is garbage, yo. I'm very confident in that. If I want an equality effect, I would pay 2 mana, not 5 mana for that. Nice synergy with egg. Chat. Every bad card in Hearthstone has a positive synergy with egg. Alright. Egg is not the solution or the answer to make every card playable. Prismatic Lens, a very fun card with mean potential. You 4 mana draw 2 cards and swap the cost of a minion and a spell. You play this with Wisp and Dino Size. So turn 4, you get a 0 mana Dino Size. A 0 mana Dino Size seems good. Or you play Deathwing and Humility and get a 1 mana Deathwing. Mm. <laughs> uh, I love it because it enables so much stupid combos. But I hate it because it's so inconsistent. Like, it's okay if the other card is unplayable, right? It's okay if you get the 8 mana Wisp. You have a 0 mana Dino size. You're not too sad about the 8 mana Wisp. You just don't play the 8 mana Wisp. Because there's the benefit and the payment. But you can get the payment. You can get the benefit without the payment, if that makes sense. It's like borrowing money from a loan shark and then skipping the country once it's time to pay. Like a wisp and a dino size. You get the dino size benefit up front with a zero mana dino size. And when it's time to pay the eight mana wisp, you just don't pay it. You just don't don't play the card. So you get the benefit of it. But not the payment, if that makes sense. Of course, that's dream scenario for uh, Prismatic Lens. You could just see this as a 4 mana draw 2 cards that draw specific 2 cards, a minion and a spell, which isn't terrible. You use it normally as a refill card, or you use it for meme and combo potential. And you get one mana Death Wings, you get one mana Yseras, you get one mana Mecha Cthulhu's. I'm gonna slide this in right in the middle. No, it's a bit below average. Glowstone Technician Battlecry give all minions in your hand plus two plus two. 
Looks like the grimy goons are back, boys. And they're worse than ever. Arena OP? Yeah, Arena will be OP. Constructed it. Uh, da poo poo. Kang Gore's Endless Army. Resurrect three friendly mechs. They keep any magnetic upgrades. Honestly, I, I thought we were going to see more mechs. For Paladin. But I don't know if there was enough mechs to justify Kang Gore's Endless Army. Uh, Noyotron Res is great. It's really good. Here's a question. If a minion dies, okay, let's say you have a mech and you put something magnetic on it and it gets silenced and then it dies. Will Kango res it with the magnetic upgrade if it died silenced? I would assume so. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm saying yes and no's. I'm saying yes and no's. 50 50. Hmm. I do feel like it's one of those things where it's. We just have to test to find out. The correct answer is maybe. Maybe. So I think this card is good. Is there enough good mechs? I don't think so. Mech Paladin, I don't think will be a thing. All right, I'm gonna put this here. Crystal Smith Kangor, two mana, one, two. Divine Shield, Life Steal, your healing is doubled. Okay. Now this this card is crap, right? Two mana one two? It's pretty cheap. Also, I would assume it looks like a mech. I don't it's not a mech. It looks similar to an elemental almost. But it's not a mech, it's not a paladin. What is this? Like a weird looking feller. Yeah, it's not a mech. It looks mechish. He's got metal hands and metal pants. It looks elemental ish because he's got crystal and he's a crystal smith. But he's nothing. Weird. Tells it's a Draenite. Last I checked, Drain Eyes don't have giant metal rock spikes out of their heads, shoulders, or elbows. Unless that's part of his armor. Uh, I don't think this card is very good. There's not enough heals to justify it. So that's Paladin. Nothing really stands out for Paladin. Yeah, I saw nothing that makes me go, wow, this card is great. Anything for Odd Paladin? They can play this card instead of Dire Mo. Does he gain any, bit, any benefit from that? No, not really either. Nope. Paladin. Don't really didn't really get anything good from their class card. Maybe something in neutrals for them.
Hey, lights out.